Hey guys, now we're on topic six, reproduction regions review questions. Again, a lot of diagrams for this. Make sure you analyze the diagrams before you try to answer the questions. Number one says, the diagram to the right represents events that occur in sexual reproduction. The stages labeled A, B, and C are necessary to ensure that the offspring will inherit blank. Here we have the male and the female. The male produces sperm, the female produces an egg. So we have to think what is process A and then what is process B. Process A, remember, is meiosis. We're halving the number of chromosomes. So inside of here, you'd have half the normal number, which is typically represented by an N. Over here, also, for um, egg production, we have meiosis. Remember, meiosis makes sex cells. Um, egg also has half the normal number. C represents the process of fertilization. So now we've made a complete set of chromosomes, 2n, half from the mom and half from the dad. We've restored the chromosome number, and the cell that's formed is called a zygote. So based on that, why do we have to have sex cells formed with half the number and then have them come back together again? Um, that is to ensure that the offspring will inherit one half of their chromosomes from each parent. Okay, number two, which statement best describes the importance of the process carried out by structure X? Again, label, 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 label. X represents the placenta right all over your test to help you. Um, now it wants to know what exactly is the function of this. Number one says milk passes from the mother to the fetus. No. They probably stick that there because they're thinking breast milk, but breast milk is not going through the placenta. Number two says materials are exchanged between the fetal and maternal blood. These materials include things like nutrients, oxygen, and waste products. That could be it. Maternal blood is converted into fetal blood. Now remember, there's no mixing of blood because there is a chance that the mother and the baby um, do not have the same blood type, and that would actually be life-threatening to both of them. So you're probably cross off that one. And this is oxygen diffuses from the fetal blood to the maternal blood. And if you read that quick, I'm sure a lot of people would pick that, but actually this is flip-flopped, right? The mom provides blood, uh, sorry, the mom provides oxygen to the fetus, not the other way around. The mother is actually doing the breathing and then the oxygen is incorporated into her bloodstream and then it diffuses across the placenta into the fetal bloodstream. So best news choice there is going to be two. Exposure to certain environmental toxins such as pesticides may reduce fertility in males by interfering with their ability to produce gametes. Remember, gametes is going to be a fancy word for sex cells. And if we're talking about males, we're talking about sperm. These toxins are most likely having an effect on the blank. So we're looking for the male. Number one says testes and progesterone. Progesterone is considered a female hormone, so we can cross that one off. Um, ovaries and estrogen, those actually are both associated with the female. Cross those ones off. Number three says ovaries. Again, female, cross that one off. And then testes and testosterone are both male, so that's going to be our best answer choice. Number four, the diagram to the right represents structures found in the female reproductive system always read those because a lot of times they're going to tell you what reproductive system it is. If the areas labeled A were completely blocked on both sides, the most likely result would be that. So A, my advice again, label. A is going to be fallopian tube. B, ovary. Um, D, uterus. C, vagina. It says a, they're asking me about A. If A was blocked, what would happen? You have to remember what happens in A is going to be fertilization. Fertilization is talking about the fact that sperm and egg are going to come together, and they are going to make a zygote or a fertilized egg. So number one says egg and estrogen project production would stop. No, the egg and estrogen are both produced inside of the ovary, which is B. So that's not it. Um, number two says sperm and insulin production would stop. Well, this is the female reproductive system. Remember, sperm occurs in the male reproductive system, and insulin is produced by the pancreas, which is not part of your reproductive system. So we can cross that one off. Three says fertilization would not occur. All right, that one looks good, but let's read the last one. An embryo would develop. Embryos develop inside a D, which is the uterus. 
So best answer choice there is going to be three. Next up, a paramecium is a single-celled organism that reproduces asexually, right? Meaning one parent without sex cells. The offspring of paramecium would usually contain, um, that's going to be two, genetic material that is identical to the parent. There's only one parent, so they get all their DNA from one parent cell. Flip over, the following events occur during sexual reproduction, mitosis, meiosis, fertilization, and birth. This, which sequence represents the correct order of these events during sexual reproduction? So first thing that has to happen is you have to make sex cells. The process of making sex cells is going to be meiosis. So that's gonna be first, we're looking for B first. The last process is gonna be D, birth. So we've got B, and the last one is gonna be D. Now we have to figure out what's going on in the middle there. After you make your sex cells, which is meiosis, sperm and egg, they have to come together for fertilization. So that's gonna be C, and then they're gonna go and divide. Right? And when they divide, they divide by the process called mitosis. If you need to, my advice would be actually go and draw the embryonic development sketch kind of that we looked at earlier. Looks somewhat like that. Best answer choice for that then is going to be two. Next up, another diagram. A reproductive system is represented in the diagram. Which structure is correctly paired with its reproductive function. Now they don't say you have to do this. A good idea is always to write down what reproductive system you're looking at, which is male. If we go through and we label them, A is going to be the vas deferens, B is going to be the testes, uh, C actually has nothing to do with reproduction, although everyone always gets that one confused, it's the bladder, and then D is going to be the penis. Okay, so A says pathway for gametes. Okay, that's true. Again, though, let's see if there's a better answer. Um, B says synthesis of progesterone. Actually, that makes testosterone, so that's not going to be it. Um, C says production of sperm. Well, that's the bladder. The bladder doesn't make sperm. The bladder stores urine until it gets released from the body. And then finally, we have D, regulation of homeostasis, which is the penis. But the penis is really just responsible for the delivery of sperm into the female. So the best answer choice there is going to be one. Eight, the diagram below represents reproduction in yeast. The genes in the bud are identical to the genes in the parent. So really important statement there. The offspring and the parent are going to be identical. This type of production of offspring is a form of. So it says they're gonna be identical. When they're identical, we're talking about asexual reproduction. This question here, the development of nerve, muscle, and skin cells is represented in the diagram below. We've got what would be embryonic development. Note here, fertilization is occurring, formation of a zygote, a bunch of mitosis is happening. Over here, all these cells are getting their specific shot specific jobs. When you get your specific job, remember that's called differentiation. Which statement best explains how each of the different cell types can develop from the same embryo? So more or less what we're doing is we're looking for the definition of def differentiation. Number one says the cells have identical genetic instructions, but different parts of the genes are being expressed in each cell. This is mitosis. Each one of these cells inside your body, every single cell in your body, is an exact copy of each other. They all have the same exact genetic information. The reason why they're doing different things is because different parts are turned on. Instead of being turned on, sometimes we call that being expressed. Different parts are being activated. One is gonna be the answer, but let's read through the other ones. It says, the cells have genetic, identical genetic instructions. Okay, that is true. And all parts are being expressed. No, just certain little parts. Remember, whatever genes are being turned on, that's going to dictate what the job of that cell is. So that's not right. The cells are being produced by asexual reproduction and contain genetic, identical genetic instructions. That's a true statement, but they're not all doing the same jobs. 
right? So you have to make sure you read the whole thing and actually pertain it to the question here. The cells contain genetic instructions from two different parents and will express the instructions from only one parent. No, just think about yourself, right? This is how you were formed. You may look like your mom a little bit. You may look like your dad a little bit, right? You don't just express the genes from one of your parents. And plus, this is talking about individual cells. Why, does, why is a skin cell a skin cell? Why is a muscle cell a muscle cell? This is, again, differentiation. Number one is the best answer choice there. And the last one says, which statement concerning sexual reproduction is correct? So here I have sexual reproduction. Um, that, the correct answer for this is gonna be one. It's not necessary in order for the individual to survive. Necessary for species. So think about it, you probably know people who've never had offspring before. They're still alive, right? You don't need to have children in order to survive. But if you wanted the human rate, uh, human species to continue, then some individuals must have offspring. Number two says the offspring are identical to the parent. Well, that's definitely false because sexual is all about variation. Um, three says necessary for individual to survive. That's definitely false. And finally, the offspring are identical to each other. Now, if you have siblings, most likely you are not identical to your siblings, so we can cross that one off. Once you've finished that, again, self-evaluate. How many did you get right? How many did you get wrong? What information do you feel like you really don't know? Um, and then set goals for yourself. What do you feel like you specifically need to study? Is there vocabulary you don't know? Are there pictures or images you don't know?